Hi, my name is Ray, and uh, I have a problem here with Final Cut Pro. Let me just get right into it. I'm going to open up Final Cut Pro right now. Final Cut Pro. Restoring the window layout. Oh, wow. That seemed to work all of a sudden. That's great. That wasn't the problem I was having anyway, but I just wanted to point that particular thing out. I opened it up. I am now going to uh, start my little uh, video that I've edited here, right? And this is just a test video. Kind of test things out a bit. Okay, it works fine. Okay, everything seems to work properly. If I click on this, that seems to be okay. I click on that, that, click on that there. Click on the uh, music thing, it's fine. I click on the photos thing, but when I get to show and hide the effects browser, I'm going to click on that. Booyah! Look at that. Error. I'm going to tell you guys something. I spent all day yesterday and partially part of this morning reinstalling my entire OS system on my MacBook Pro. I spent all day. Okay? I had about 150 gigs of information that I needed to get back on my system. All software that I've purchased legally and it's not obscure software or companies that don't have a reputation for having great software. It's all legitimate, high, uh, well, you know, high-end, well-qualified software, okay? Well, I did that for one reason, because I needed to use Final Cut Pro, okay? Final Cut Pro was doing this very same thing, all right? And as a result, it's doing it anyway. It's doing this problem anyway, okay? Oh. I also got this little ball shaking around like it's accessing something, like it's trying to pull things down. I don't know why it's doing that, actually. Another thing is, uh... <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, all right. So anyway, I'm going through this. I'm checking it out. I'm going to do it again just to show you that I'm not going crazy. All right, I'm going to click on this. It's going to crash again, like systematic, right? Okay, fine, whatever. Now what I'm going to do, I don't know why this is showing. Why is this showing? I'm so angry right now, people. I'm sorry. I'm just angry. I'm really angry. I'm trying to hold it in. Can't do it. I'm going to go to um, uh, find, open a Final Cut Pro again. Oh, I'm going to restore the window. Oh, guess what? Something new has happened just now. Not only does it crash on me, but now it takes me back to this thing that uh, was generally happening before, restore the window layout, and it's going to get stuck on that. Okay, anybody that is a Final Cut Pro user knows that when it gets stuck on this situation right here, um, that um, it's going to stay there. It's not going to move. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay there unless you figure out a way to deal with that. Now, generally, anybody that knows Final Cut or any, actually, uh, uh, Mac systems, they know that you have to... Uh, basically throw away the preferences to kind of get this going again, right? This is software available. It's called uh, Preference Manager. Uh, it's free. You can find it online. Um, just type in Preference Manager on Google and then type in Final Cut Pro and it'll pop up right away. Okay, I'm going to go to this Preference Manager. I'm going to deselect everything and I'm going to just select Final Cut uh, Pro X. Okay, I'm going to trash that. and It's going to trash the preference uh, the, that for me. It's going to close the uh, the software out and it's going to do that. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, but you saw the software that was up. It was up partially. You know, this screen here was up partially behind it, okay? Just to add to the misery of what I'm dealing with here. So I'm going to go back to clicking on this icon here. Oh, it paused for a minute and then it crashed, you know? You know, I don't know what to do. I'm so, I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm talking really fast because I'm really upset about this. I've been dealing, I, I, I installed, I reinstalled my whole system just to fix this problem. Okay? The first software I installed on my system after I did everything was Final Cut. Okay? And at that moment, it worked perfectly. It worked flawlessly. That video that you saw is what I edited on it just to make sure that it was working. Okay? No hangups, no nothing. Then all of a sudden, I put in Logic. I put in um, a few other softwares. I checked, went, kept going back to Final Cut to make sure that it was working. It seemed to be working fine. I installed some more software, went back to check it, make sure it was working, you know, back and forth. You know, I've been an Apple guy since 1980, 
86, 87, 88, you know? I've been, I've been a guy since the Mac Plus, all right? I have dealt with the trials and tribulations of getting this stuff to work, okay? Um, you know, Final Cut uh, Pro Studio, uh, or Final Cut Studio, um, I used to teach that. I was teaching that software to people, you know? Now I'm in a position where I really need to edit. You know, I'm not in LA, you know? I'm in uh, Budapest, Hungary. I'm, in, I'm in, like on an island because nobody speaks English, very few people speak English here, and nobody here definitely knows Final Cut Pro. Uh, uh, very few that I could find anywhere that know it like I do, okay? And, um, and so Apple, I, I gotta ask you, what, what's the problem here? Why are we having such a problem with this software? And how come you guys don't step up to the plate and get this fixed? I mean, you guys should have everybody on this thing. I know it's your least more important because now uh, you're less involved with the pro aspect of things, I guess, and more involved with the consumer now. You know, dude, this is lame. This is lame. All right. If I could afford to cross over to one of your competitors, okay, without mentioning any names, but anybody's a Final Cut Pro user or an editor, you guys know, I would. I would do it, and I would go through the process of the learning curve of learning that software because you know there's a process involved, okay? So basically, you guys got me by the cojones right now, all right? I need to edit. I'm in Budapest. I need to edit this stuff before I leave, and I cannot do it, and there's no reason for it, okay? Anybody that has an, an answer for this, please forgive my anger. I would love to know uh, uh, the answer to fix this particular problem. Trust me, I've done everything. I've, I've reinstalled my system. I've done whatever it takes to make this work properly, okay? I'm going to, after this video, I'm going to install, reinstall Final Cut Pro again, which I actually have done before I did uh, the, uh, the reinstall of my system, okay? And the problem still existed, okay? So I'm inclined to believe that Installing Final Cut Pro X again, it's not going to solve my problem. It's not going to solve it. So um, the only thing that's going to solve my problem is that if I don't put anything else on my system but Final Cut Pro, nothing else, just Final Cut Pro, then my problem should be solved. That's my guess, okay? Because obviously there's a conflict between something else and this. So, uh, you know, it's driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy. I'm angry. I can't hide it. And, uh, and anybody else that buys the software and does this sort of thing, you should be angry too, okay? Don't feel bad about it. Be angry. Be frustrated. You know, uh, you know I'm, I'm going to lose my ass because of this. So anyway, that's it. I'm done talking. Thank you for listening.